what's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of just my opinion thank you so much for tuning in i really do appreciate it for my power book four force episode nine recap and review titled trust they did not leave a synopsis right here it says add a plot in your own language but i'm going to let somebody else do that themselves but guys welcome to another episode I am going to spoil this up, down, left, right, in and out as if you've already seen it. You have been warned. I just did my power book for episode nine, not episode nine, but episode eight recap. I did that live. So if you guys have been wondering, hey, B, where is that episode? It's right here on my channel right here. I did that about a few hours ago. So if you guys want to go check out my opinion for that as well, you sure can. But I have kind of fallen off from this show because, I mean, I'm two weeks late with that episode and I thought I was going to give up. But episode eight was pretty good. And this episode nine was pretty good as well. I really did enjoy it. And I like where they're going with the characters. I said in this past episode, in episode eight, that JP, you know, that's uh, Tommy's brother, that I really didn't like him too much. He's kind of getting on my nerves, kind of whining. But the show is really smart right here because they had a great way of us sympathizing with the character at the very end of the episode because his son, uh, Darius, so I think that's his real name. We found that out. Um, JP's son is uh, DMEC, is shot. And we don't even know if he's going to live or die. You know, that's just, that's crazy right there. And I mean, I, I don't want to just, I, I know that's kind of towards the end of the episode. I don't even know how I'm going to do this recap or review. If I'm just going to jump around, go straight off the dome kind of do like a shot by shot thing. We're just going to see and we're going to have some fun with it because guys, we only have one episode left and it is crazy. Everybody is going to go to war with everybody. Everybody hates Tommy. I mean, Tommy can't get no help from nowhere. He's trying to go to Diamond like, hey, Diamond, come on, bro. I need your help. You know what I'm saying? Flynn is over here thinking that I tried to take out his son. So he done hit up the four horsemen from Dublin. They come in all with suitcases and briefcases and satchels and backpacks with all these big guns, and they're going to send them my way. Diamond don't want none of that. They're like, bro, I'm out here living my best life. I'm getting some nice ass from this reporter over here named Adrian. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty fine and thick, looking good and all that. I'm not trying to mess this up. I already went to war with you one time. We barely got out of that battle alive. You know what I'm saying? And you know, we lost somebody, so we lost Elijah. And Tommy can't get mad at him for that. He can't. Tommy cannot get mad at him for that. Because, you know, he's like, hey, it, it, it doesn't hurt to ask. You know what I'm saying? And so that's interesting right there. Now, as far as Diamond is concerned with Adrian, bro, be careful. Now, she, I was telling her, I was telling you earlier that she's for the streets. You know what I'm saying? You need to kick her to the curb. You can't trust her. But and I was like, bust as many nuts as you can. Continue to do that. But if she does like you genuinely, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to just throw that away, you know, like, because, you know, she could be a, could be a good thing in the end. You know what I'm saying? But just keep your guard up, bro. Keep your guard up. Keep your guard up. Do not wear your heart on your sleeve. Wear it in your chest. Locked up. And she's going to have to pull back them layers. She's going to have to work, work, work to pull back them layers because she tried to deceive you. You know what I'm saying? But let's start out here at the very beginning of the episode. We got, uh, what's his name? Uh, Vic is reminiscing on the murder of his lovely girl, Gloria. My goodness gracious, I can't believe she's gone. She was just shot in the face. Now, this whole time, I thought, I thought that it was Walter that sent the hit to take out um, um, Gloria. And I was like, that's just evil. There's no returning back from that. But apparently that's not. And this does not make sense to me. Now, it was a plot hole to me in episode eight when I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And Vic said it in this episode, too. I cannot trust Tommy. And that's like, if you did not trust Tommy, why did you try to leave Chicago? That doesn't make sense. You have trusted him because the only reason you left Chicago or were you trying to leave Chicago to prevent Gloria from getting shot up? It was because Tommy came and gave you a warning. Like, hey, man, you got to get out of here. Don't get on the highway. Take the back roads, the alleys, the back streets, all of that. Get your girl. And, and, and you went into Gloria's crib. Hey, babe, let's get out of here. I sold the land. I paid off your debt. Pack a bag. Let's go in a, a few hours. She was like, OK. And you was only leaving because you trusted Tommy. But you didn't trust him enough to take the car that he left you that was untraceable. I don't get it. Please. I'm not trying to be funny. But if I'm missing something, help me out in the comment section below. So you said you don't trust him, but you're trusted enough to leave, but not trusted enough to take the car he left you. That I, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? That don't make sense to me. Now, what doesn't make sense to me in this episode is. This guy right here, 
Tommy goes to uh, Merkowitz and was like, hey, I, I, you know, let's make a deal. Merkel was like 1.5 million because um, I need some help. Flynn is coming after me. Walter Flynn is coming after me with the four horsemen from Dublin. And they look serious. And I'm going to talk about them in a second. I need some help. I need all the manpower I can get. It's going to cost you. Tommy says, hey, it's going to cost you. I'll give you another 500K if you tell me who took out uh, Walter Flynn. Now, he ratted out his man over there. Now, did I miss something? He was like, this is not how we do it. You just read out your own dude in his face for 500 k What? I'm like, what just happened here? Now, at first, I was like, why would Merkowitz try to take out Gloria and Vic? And I was like, that doesn't make sense. But now it just came to me. It does make sense because the Serb guy, Merkowitz, he's trying to get back at, at Flynn because I think that he thinks that um, they did the drive-by and sprayed on him when Tommy was trying to rescue Liliana and when she got shot. So I think that's the reason why. So, but if I'm wrong, correct me respectfully in the comments. If y'all want to be like, B, you know, pay attention, that's fine. But let me know in the comment section. But uh, did he just, he just read out his own dude for 500K right there in his face. Am I missing something? I got to be missing something because that is just so off cold right there and cold blooded. Yeah, when I shot your brother, I saw him in like in the face and blew his head off. Yeah, man, I'm I'm trying to put that together right there. And he goes and gets the money, and I'm like, damn, okay, you know, because I'm thinking like this. I'm like, yeah, y'all just throwing around 25k and 100k and 50k like it's nothing, you know. I, I mean, how many cash y'all got? But Tommy got at least two mil. So let me shut up. You know, he hired it and. And and whatever that is over there, stripper poles and, and concrete embankments and behind cereal boxes. So Tommy got some bread. I don't think that's all the money he got. He he Tom, well, I forgot. Um he, he is coming from New York and I forgot he did leave with a lot of resources. So what am I talking about? I'm tripping. I'm thinking like that's all the money he made from this show, but he done had a whole six seasons from the original power make a stack and bread. So uh my bad that and I think he got a good lick off of Jason too. Uh, in the end but yeah man um but going back to the beginning and excuse me i'm sorry i have to call going back to the beginning of the episode where vic is in the hospital and he is recovering from his wounds from seeing his baby shot and that's just sad man i feel sorry for him because at first i was like you need to leave glory alone she's not really into you but she is it's kind of the writing kind of iffy right there you know and his dad is there for him, trying to be there for him, man. And that's all good. Now, one other thing about Walter Flynn is, you know, he's had a stick up his butt this whole time. I don't like him because he's a racist, white supremacist demon because he didn't like Gloria and wanted to keep the, the y'all get it, the the, ra the white, ra he, he wanted to try to keep the race pure or whatever. He learned a lot in this episode and he finally gave his kids what they wanted, especially Claudia. And I'll get to her in a second. But he's realizing the importance of the relationship and that he has to, you know, mend it and put make, you know, let bygones be bygones and all that stuff. So but now we got your boy D Mac in here counting the money with all of the cash. He talking about money, you guys, more germs and toilet bowls. That's gross. That's nasty as hell. I don't know. I don't know how that's possible, but hey, I believe him. You know, but it's nice that he and he's able to, you know, do this, you know, but Tommy's trying to put some put some game on him. Tommy, like, hey, listen, dude, you young, man. You got your whole life ahead of you. This life is unstable. You're going to end up with a bullet. That's what Liliana was telling the doctor in the last episode. But I like I like D-Mac. He's a cool character. He's straight. He's straight. I uh, I really wasn't I, I, when he hit a, when he hit Marshall outside the club and Marshall pulled the guns on him. I, I was kind of mad at him for doing that. Like, hey, man. Move on, you know, but uh, but D Mac, he cool, he cool, he cool. But now we got your boy, uh, JP. Now he called him son in this. I, I know we've seen this man before, I can't remember it. I thought this was his daddy, but then you know, I, and I'm pretty sure that it is. But he was walking with a cane, and I know that um, JP said earlier that hey, my ex husband has medical conditions, has to put a stint in his leg. So I was like, wait a minute, that's not his ex husband, is it? Cause he was walking with a cane, but I think that's his dad or whatever, you know, and he's talking about how 
And, I, and yeah, they was really helping us try to sympathize with the guy right here because, you know, we he lost. Well, he thinks he lost his son uh, Darius uh, D Mac at the end, but he also tried to call Kate for closure, and that didn't work. And you know, Miriam died, his grandmother. He's just like, damn, you know, with her, I didn't even know the woman, but with her dying, it's just another piece of me that I feel like I don't have. You know, he kind of just grew up in a broken home, and that just sucks. It really does. You really can see how it's taking a toll on him. And I feel bad. I do. I really do. And so uh, hopefully uh, he just wants to fit in and belong. And I can't get mad at him for that. You know, he doesn't want to just take money from Tommy. He wants to work for it. I can't get mad at him for that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they're trying to make us feel sorry for JP. It's working a little bit. You guys can let me know in the comment section if you agree or disagree. I am very, very curious. Now, Claudia over here is getting it on in the car. Not, she's looking nice and I was about to, I was just like why do people always answer their damn phones in the middle of Nookie you know you could call somebody back in five or ten minutes but apparently uh, you know she's you know because last episode Tommy was like there was well Tommy and Claudia was like hey we're going to expand the business you know I can do the um, I can just continue to do the, the streets you can do the clubs so apparently this is one of her first jobs you know she got a call girl or however you want to call her going in there and you know making this change but you know she found out that uh, Vic was shot. Dad is like, hey, your brother shot, come home. She's like, get the F out. I like that right there, you know. And so, and I am I was surprised at how concerned Claudia was right here that, well, of course she's going to be concerned that her brother was shot. Let me take that back. I mean, well, concerned as far as Gloria being dead. I didn't think she would give a crap because then, yeah, I just didn't think she cared. Maybe I'm wrong there, but, you know. Um, and, and now we got um, uh, Flynn filling their head up with crap making them think it was Tommy and it wasn't. And that really put that that really does piss me off right there. It really does. Now, why did that picture come out of nowhere? Hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, but Tommy, he back at the crib right now. You know, Liliana popping up and they're you know working their things out. He's um trying to teach her where his hiding stash is and all that good stuff. Wasn't much of Liliana in this episode. It it, it wasn't. It wasn't at all. And that's that's not a bad thing. And Walter is really trying to stick it in uh, Claudia's head. Like, hey, um, I need you. I really do. Look how her face changed. You telling me that now you've been keeping me out the business this whole time? And now you need me? Yes, baby, I need you. Oh, daddy, that's all I wanted my whole life. And I'm being funny. And, you know, Tommy called her. But that's nice. Just that gesture right there turn the relationship completely around and now they're working together you know what i'm saying flynn i'm glad i mean it sucks that it took this long for you to realize that you're pushing your kids away you need to be bringing them in that they're not kids and you know you, you you were just going about it all wrong you should have but at the same time i cannot get mad at flynn for not wanting to keep her out of the business because it's not like she was built for that you know this this side of it is more dirty more dangerous in the trenches grimy bodies bodies people are killing everybody claudia excuse me claudia just got her first body a couple of episodes ago with mine didn't even know what to do with it so i can't necessarily get mad at Flynn for feeling that way and wanting her to keep her out just like hey you do the books and that's respectable I cannot do I can this business cannot survive and thrive unless I have somebody doing the books. I don't know how to do it. You do. The role is yours. But apparently that wasn't enough. But it is now, you know, and um, he's like, hey, all I need is one thing. Just please keep Vic away from Tommy. Don't bother him. Leave him alone. All that. And I can't get mad on her for that. And he's still over here trying to fill up Vic's head with the nonsense. And Vic wasn't trying to buy it. Also, we got Polly here talking about, bruh, bruh, we don't got the resources for that. Bring in the uh, four horsemen. I'm like, okay, that's what's up. And, well, we'll get to the four horsemen in a second. Now, JP, dumbass, well, I don't want to call him dumb. I mean, he finally got to connect with his mom, so I can't get mad at him if I want to call Kate. But Kate is evil. She going to disconnect the phone? Damn. I mean, if 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 who she got the she won the first contest with I don't want to deal with your ass no more. Leave me alone. Your son call you, hey, I just want to let you know that your mama died. And she disconnects the phone or blocks him or I don't know. But that that was a slap in the face right there. I, I feel bad for him. 
you know, and Tommy over here, he's trying to figure out what happened to Gloria. Unfortunately, he don't know yet. Liliana. And oh, yeah, earlier Liliana was there was in the house. She, she was the one um, that was telling him like, hey, uh, what, what am, where am I right here? When they was back at the house, she was just trying to tell him that that Vic is still alive, that he got hit, you know. And so, yeah, Tommy's just trying to figure out where Glory is right now. But, you know, fortunately, she's dead. She didn't make it. You know, and he back at the lab. You know, they're doing their thing, trying to work it out. I like I like these scenes right here with the doctor and it's all four of them. These are th this is a highlight for me of the show. I don't know what's up with the image right there, but I, I like this. And then here's Tommy. He's trying to call um, Claudia, but she's not answering the phone. You know, he thinks that, you know, she cut him out or whatever. Now, we definitely got to talk about this right here. At first, I was feeling uh, Demarcus or Darius, excuse me, uh, D Mac, for giving Marshall the, the cold shoulder. But I would have been like, F Marshall, fuck Marshall. Nah, bro. No. Now, at the same time, you know, D Mac did kind of pistol whip him. No, he didn't pistol whip him. He punched him. But I, would, I wouldn't have wanted to deal with uh, Marshall like this no more, man. What do y'all think? I would have been like, I'm sorry, bro. Uh, it is what it is, but let's just go our separate ways. You know, we cool, but I'm I'm not finna be walking away with you uh, with my arm around your neck like we best buds. I don't. I mean, maybe I'm wrong because they could have a long relationship, but it's just, you know, it, it's funny that people how people change when they get booted out from somebody else. Then you want to go groveling back. I, I just feel some type of way about that. You know, y'all can let me know how you feel. And uh, Tom, that's what Tommy's doing right here, though, letting. Uh, <laughs> JP know how he feels, and he think that he done blew up the whole thing. Tommy, people just don't listen. And Tommy's doing this, he's doing all this for a reason, because he don't want to make the same mistake that he made in New York. And I feel him for that. He's like, we got to keep this shit tight. Because if one small thread is unraveled, you know, the whole thing could just come fall, fall apart. And I, I respect Tommy for that. You know what I'm saying? I do. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about that as well. Oh, uh, we got to talk about Bennigan. Bennigan, Bennigan. Is that his name, Bennigan? I keep wanting to call him Bennigan, and that's probably not even his name. But let me let me look real quick on this. Uh, let's see here. I think his name is Bennigan. I like him. I'm mad. Yeah, Seamus Bennigan. Debo. Debo. Man, he, somebody's real name is Debo. And, you know, y'all, of course, you've seen Friday. You know where Debo is coming from. Balagun. Where you from, bro? Let's see here. I don't know. It doesn't say. But this guy's cool. You know, I like him. Um, but yeah, man, I feel sorry for him. He got this uh, white supremacist cop pinning this on his neck. Hey, I need all this money. We got to get him out of there. We got to get him out of there. And where where is that? Where is that scene? That we're gonna come to that when he's talking to Diamond. I can't wait to get to that scene because. We definitely, we definitely, definitely, definitely got to talk about this motherfucker right here. This white dude. He got to go. He got to go. We got to come out with a plan, guys. He got to get out of here. He's stressing Bennigan out, man. Brother? No. We, we, we no. You got to go. You got to, I, oh, I, I, we, he got to go. He got to go. Uh, but we got the four horsemen. Now, this, now I got to say, this is an entrance. They made an entrance. As soon as this popped up right here, I was like, damn. They finna F some stuff up. <laughs> and that's what I want. I, I, uh, guys, we got one episode left. If it's 10 episodes, I, I want to see them dropping bodies. Now, I want to see them whooping some syrups. You know, if you're going you're gonna to bring them through like this, I'm like, this dude's not effing around. Doom, do, do, doom, do, doom, do, doom, do, doom, doom. We walking with our briefcases to the poly. Doom, do, do, doom, do, doom, do, doom. Airplanes in the background laying and taking off. Do, do, doom, do, doom, do, doom, do, doom, do. We going on. <laughs> like, okay, I'm enough of that. But all this shit was nice. I liked all of it. It was nice. You know, they, they look like they're doing some serious work. They look expensive. They look like they, they yeah, I'm, I'm ready to see it, man. So. Uh, I'm I'm hyped for this right here. That that I was getting pretty excited, you know. But uh, I don't know why there's a random picture of Liliana right here next. But now we got this these these guys right here, dumb and dumber. I do not like Janard. He's a, he like I, I mean the writing right here was kind of eh. I mean yeah they downstairs. He just you know monologuing yes, and I'm gonna overtake the throne and I do the mess to give my brother back the confidence and. I'm just pretending like I don't know that he's up there and he can't be listening. And it's just like, you know, I don't know how I feel about that. But of course, Diamond hears it all. And, you know, that sucks. Uh, I mean, these are brothers, you know. And I'm glad that this this came back around because 
Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was thinking about that when I was watching this episode. Like, what happened to him when they was doing the fight? Is that going to come back around? And, you know, Diamond... And, and the only thing is, Diamond... Not Diamond, but Gerard, think, he's smart, but he thinks he's too smart. He thinks that Marshall and D-Mac, Darius, cut them at the knees to go make the deal with the guys in Indiana. Which we'll talk about in a second because Tommy was pissed. So they assume it was Tommy. So Flynn thinks it's Tommy. Um, these guys, Jannard and them think it's Tommy. Vic, Claudia think it's Tommy. Everybody think it's Tommy. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And so I forgot what they was talking about right here. Um, but, you know, they're doing their thing. Oh, yeah, this is where Tommy figures out that Gloria is dead. That's right. That's right. Tommy figures out Gloria is dead. Now, this is definitely what I got to talk about right here. Debo Bennigan. Debo Bennigan, Debo Bennigan. You're holding up your boy right here at the, at the, um, wait, where did it go? What's going on? There we go. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, this, like, I like the dialogue here between Diamond and Bennigan. I do. Um, Diamond knows what's up. He knows he's being pinned. And I, I hate to see this because I want them to work it out, but when he he gave him 150, that's nice. But Diamond, I, I like I want the relationship to work out between them because I'm just looking at it like this, like because Diamond said, "Hey, no matter where we started out as when we was younger, look where we are now, bro. We on the same side, so they need to team up. If you're gonna be working like the cop Debo or the cop Bennigan, if you're gonna have uh, working with criminals, people that's doing." Or, you know, you, you get y'all get what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry, I can't articulate my words right now. Do it with your people, don't do it with Flynn and them. Easier said than done, I know. But and we got a team up with Diamond, like, hey, he said, I got this white dude. I'm sorry, I got some hair in my eye, y'all. But it's like, I got this uh, this white cop on my neck threatening me, blackmailing me. I'm, I'm peeing. And Diamond was able to empathize and sympathize with him. And I love that right there. That was this was a great part of the episode for me, you know what I'm saying? I think that was super dope. So I don't know if we're going to get a season two, but I do want Bennigan and uh, Diamond to try to work together because we got to get rid. We got to get rid of the, this evil uh, demon cop that we were showing earlier. Yeah, we we got to get him out of there because he's a bitch. He's a hoe. I like. Yeah, no, that's not the right picture. But y'all know what I'm talking about. The guy that was uh, pinning Bennigan, you know, trying to call him out. Yeah, this this MF right here. We got to get him out of there. Because you're stressing Bennigan out, and I like him. And so, Diamond, we need you. We need CBI to help eliminate this evil demon. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that, you know, if I'm tripping. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I feel pretty strong about it. I was talking about them earlier, about busting us. Just keep your, keep your guard up, man. Keep your guard up. Keep your guard up. This is what I was talking about earlier as far as uh, Diamond reaching out. Not Diamond, but Tommy reaching out, trying to get help. And we got this dude right here that um. That, um Read out, ratted out his own dude for 500k right there in his face. That's just that's just wild to me, you know. Like I'm like wow, you know. So we're gonna see how that plays out as well. And that's you know, of course, that's what time is getting the money and all that good stuff. Yeah, and that's when they go to Indiana, almost get a sh you know face blown off. But Tommy wasn't happy with that deal right there, man. He was like, dude, you don't. And I I don't blame Tommy for that. We'll get to that in a second. But right here, Tommy, this is just so coincidental that. Claudia saw Tommy talking to Merkowitz, and then that's when they assumed that he was working with him the whole time instead of Vic. I'm like, really? I can't get mad at her for that, but I'm just like, wow, the world is so small. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but they they give the yeah, here we go right here. They give the the a dying loyalty to the father. Like, I'll do whatever you want. You know, I'm never leaving the family again. And at least their bond is strong, you know. So that's that's what's up right there. And you know, of course, this is where Tommy and um, Tommy, he's pissed, basically. He, he he is. And they was able to make it up. And I like this scene right here. I should have been able to predict that something was going to happen because it was such a sentimental Kodak moment. Um, But and, and, you know, it didn't work out. But who was shooting at them? And Tommy got a shot. He didn't ex he didn't uh, one uh, hand this dude and blew his head off. From what I don't want to say 50 yards, but it, it was a quite a while, you know. And uh yeah, you see the is that blood on the car, those bullet holes. But your boy D, D, uh, D Mac was shot, man. He calls 
he calls his uh, brother uh, JP, and you know I really did feel sorry for JP right here. I really did. You know, he made when as soon as he saw this picture, he just broke down. Has never seen his son. Hey, his son was taken away from him. You know, I mean, he found out right then and there that his son was the one shooting up the club, and then he's about to die. You should have found. You should have told me as soon as you found out. That's pretty sad right there. But now, guys, we got the four horsemen meeting up with uh, Vic and the Flins, and uh, it's going down. It's going down, and he was like, "Yeah, it's it's crazy." He's like, "We we all the man, all the guns, all the resources," and I, I I'm I'm not I'm not gonna lie. The Flins do look pretty nice right here. They do look like they serious and organized. You know, like they 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 are unified. You know, and that's what's up. You know, Vic looks like he has some authority. Polly standing there as well. He don't look as confident. You know, because he don't want to go to war, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. And guys, that's the episode right there, man. Uh, but I enjoyed it. I really did. Um, I'm really am curious to see what's gonna happen with the four horsemen. If Jannard dies, I would not lose a moment of sleep. He's no annoying to me. He just needs to learn his lesson. Um, so I don't care if Jannard dies, I don't care if Marshall dies. I don't care if Walter, Polly, Claudia, or Vic dies. Uh, I just need Tommy's going to live. Keep Diamond alive. Keep Bennigan alive. So Bennigan, Diamond, Liliana, Tommy, the doctor, JP, the Mac. Did I say Diamond already? All those people can live. Everybody else can die. I don't care. And, and, you know, because I, I, you know, of course, I don't want anybody. I didn't want Gloria to die. And she dies. So maybe we won't get two deaths this season of people that we don't want to die. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. Uh, we're just going to have to see. But yeah, guys, next week is going down, you know. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. And uh, that's going to wrap everything up. So, guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to my power book four episode nine recap and review titled trust i really do appreciate it and i also want you guys to subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it and why would you want to subscribe to my channel let me tell you you're going to get like let me go to my home tab real quick and press pause so y'all can hear that movie reviews i got sonic ambulance morbius master alice i'm still gonna give y'all a review for what you call it, um, uh, the Adam Project. And I may give y'all guys a review for everything, everywhere, all at once. You know, got some spoiler movie reviews. We got a weekly movie news roundup show. Also got a uh, Snowfall, Atlanta season three, Moon Knight, Bel Air, Halo, of course, Power, trailer reactions. Got some interviews as well. So y'all help me reach 40,000 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Help your boy out. But guys, again, I just want to thank you so much for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget, then my name is B. Avery. That's just my opinion. Peace out. And I'll see you next time.